Well, next, a little change of pace. Uh, I think this is, is this Disney again? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's all, it's, it's all. all, that's the only just, thing we talk about. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we got a trailer for Wicked. Um, basically, this is the, this is a movie based on, on the play Wicked. Yeah. Um, well, actually and, the book. Oh, okay. So it was a book and then a play? Yes. Um, yeah, I I think the the trailer. I mean, obviously, it was like a beautiful looking trailer. Um, Gorgeous. Yeah, I think so pretty. I think it almost. It's almost like. Is that weird? It might be weird to say. It's almost like too pretty, you know, in a sense, because no, you know, not, I, no, like not, here's the thing. It can't be not too pretty. The thing is, is that like with these over, like heavily overproduced movies. Like I feel like it's a it's a fifty fifty if they're gonna be like good or bad. I mean maybe even worse odds than that. So I don't know. Maybe 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 it'll be good. Um, they definitely tried to hide the fact that this is a musical. Um, I don't think I don't think there was like one singing part except the last like two seconds of the trailer. So yeah, um, but like to be fair, like there weren't a lot of like like for in the well. Maybe not necessarily in the Heights, but like um, West West Street, West Side Story, yeah, and yeah. some other like musicals that have come out. Like the trailers would, and this is just a teaser. Teaser, by the way, it was like, like a minute long. So yeah. they they would have dance numbers and stuff, but like there was more talking parts than singing parts. So like I don't know if I I'm gonna. Say yeah, that I mean, like the thing is, though, it. is that they they are calling this movie a musical, you know? Oh, yeah, so, it's 100% a musical. Well, so then I think I think you have to show in at least like 10 seconds of this trailer that this is clearly a musical. Like, I don't think I, I ever really got that. I know? think I think you will know that it's a musical. And I'm I just think saying this is the train Hollywood's been going in, you know? What? Is what where where they where they false advertise on musicals? I mean they I mean it was it was just done with the Mean Girls musical movie, you know like a lot like like it was twenty percent of audiences like around that number went into the theaters not knowing it was a musical. I I yes, but if you don't know that Wicked is a musical by now, I I don't know what to tell you. You know, <laughs> sure sure I guess yeah you, you know like Mean Girls I understand and that you know that's. That's kind of that's kind of. But the, I, could, I didn't know that that was a musical. I think you could adapt Wicked into a non-musical. I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. You but, shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't. Yeah. It's, well, it's I don't know so if you good. if you notice this is um part one Wicked. Um, they're doing a part two as well. Well, that's frustrating. Um, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, apparently I was reading some people's thoughts online and they were they were saying uh bold move because the second half of the play is uh is not good. So and I was like, That's, interesting. That is not true. <laughs> so you've seen you've seen Wicked, the play? Yes. Yeah, okay. The hell are they talking about? <laughs> I don't know. No, good, good it's yeah. it's great. Um, well, you're you're more of a musical guy than I am. But. That's true, and and to, and you know what? It's crazy. You know, you told me Chicago's like such such. Oh man, a, it's the it's, worst thing you've ever seen. It's and one then, of the like, worst things, yeah, for sure. Since since I brought that up, like uh, Hannah and other people have been like, "No, Chicago is really good." And I was mm. like, and I trust mm. their opinion, and I'm like, mm. "All right, I gotta watch Chicago and see what the hell Ian's talking about." It was really bad, Zach. It, maybe will, maybe the like the actual play is 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 better. I don't know, but the movie I did not enjoy at all. Okay. So yeah. Well, I thought that the trailer looked amazing, and For sure. and um, and I you know I heard from like the CinemaCon uh, presentation mm. that they did l- last year that there was a shot where all you saw were like thousands and millions of roses. All real. They made. They mm. brought like a, a millions of roses and flowers on the set. That's a good sign because a lot of this trailer didn't look necessarily real. Um, sure. Yeah. But I just I thought it looked incredible, and the story it goes before the Wizard of Oz, and then yeah. after the Wizard of Oz, 
And oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And uh, so it is the entire journey of. Did they show the actress of Dorothy at all in this trailer? Just, just very briefly, like okay. the 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 original. But it's more about like the the witches and the like the wicked witch of the east and Belinda. Uh, Belinda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I. I think it's an interesting choice, Ariana Grande. I. I mean, I obviously she can sing, so it's it's a good choice for that. But you know how um, like Cat in Victorious is very like, huh, like bubbly and like kind of ditzy. Like Belinda's not entirely that, but like when you see the Wicked play, like she's very, um, like a happy go lucky person, or happy go lucky, and also like kind of like the popular girl like she's the popular mm. girl right 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 and then uh wicked witch of the east which i can't remember what she go what her actual name is is more of like the nerdy bookish girl and then right. it's about how their friend like their relationship okay. and um and also the the there's there's a lot of stuff in wicked that is very political, which you wouldn't have guessed. And it's really good. Right. Um, it's a really good story. And uh, you you kind of even feel empathetic towards the Wicked Witch of the East, which like, I was like, okay, I did not, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I think that was, they kind of took a similar approach in that, um, do you remember that prequel they, they put out with uh, James Franco and Mila Kunis? For... For Wizard of Oz. Like they put out a, a Wizard of Oz prequel. Um, no, I think it was just called Oz. Oz the oh, Great and Powerful. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And Mila Kunis was the the witch. She she like she became the witch throughout the movie. Um, huh. Yeah, I think I think it, they made a, a a kind of sympathetic kind of story about her. But I I'm sure I'm struggling to remember that like the plot of that movie now. Um, but that was another one that was like pretty pretty heavily overproduced. You know. Yeah, I mean, I I'm crossing my fingers that it. Stays very good. I mean, this thing's not coming out till November. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So very, very long wait. Uh, very for long trailer. wait. But it wasn't a full trailer, so maybe that's what they're... They just wanted to plant the seed in everyone's mind. And Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, the, I, I think the songs are going to be great. I, or at least, like, I know the songs are great, but I think the hopefully the performances will be great. I mean, we know Ariana can, like, sing not a single wrong note, so I'm sure right. all the Belinda songs will, like... Smash. Yeah, yeah. So who's the actress who's playing the witch? Do we know? Oh, like, I mean, if she's a good singer or not? We. I mean, she's she's got to be. I think that's her singing at the very end. And when when I heard those those notes, I was like, true. Damn. Yeah, I think that was her. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh. Oof. Wicked twenty twenty four. Um. If I can click on it. And it's loading, and it's loading, and... <laughs> Just feeling that airtime. <laughs> uh, Cynthia Arrivo is Elphaba. All right, that's her name, Elphaba. Elphaba. Um, yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard of her. She, so she starred in the Broadway revival of The Color okay. Purple. So she is a, So she's like, a, a true, right, Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. We also have Michelle Yeoh as the yeah, headmistress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Goldblum as the wizard, which I is love that. amazing. Great. Yeah, and Bowen Yang is gonna be in it. Who honestly? Oh yeah, okay. I he's on SNL, isn't he? He's like yeah. definitely one of the more standout cast members of recent SNL. Okay. I like him. I like Bowen Yang. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say he's a standout in this current cast. I, I mean, I haven't watched a lot of like this newer SNL. Um, from what yeah. I see, it's not amazing, but you know, uh, he, Some of he them can be funny good, sometimes. But right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, cool. I I um, might see this with you. The question mark? I don't know. You're gonna we'll see, see it. it. Yeah. You're gonna like it. You're gonna see it, dude. You, you used to be the biggest Ariana Grande fan. You were like, dude, 2014 Ariana Grande, just mm, you know, or <laughs> or even like 2012. You know, sure, yeah. I mean, I was, I mean, I, I listened to her first like two or three albums. Yeah, you got to yeah. show up. <laughs> I just haven't been a fan of of hers in, in a while. So yeah, I mean, that is maybe crazy I gotta... because she's already she's 
she's arguably the not maybe I don't know. I didn't like her newest single, but she's arguably the best she's ever been. And you're yeah, like, I didn't love that new single either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. 